individuals fully vaccinated stand at over 2.4 million. A survey conducted by Afrobarometer has shown that more than half of South Africans believe that most, if not all, police officers are corrupt. This has added to the decline in public trust in the police, which is now at historically low levels. The organization Zianda Sturman says the perceived political interference in the SAPS adds to the perception of a dysfunctional and corrupt institution. That there is um, both a perception and reality of political interference, um, you know, within within the police service, um, and it's at the leadership, the highest leadership levels, but also um, across multiple functions within the police and across provinces. All of this is incredibly damaging, um, as it as it really sort of gives a signal to us as the public that the police between themselves are divided. This also shows in um, in the survey data that we collected this year where more than half of South Africans, 55%, say that they believe most or all police officers are involved in corruption. Um, another 36% uh, said that, that uh, it may be just a few police officers. So what, what we really have here is this very widespread view that uh, the, the police uh, service and individual members uh, that are part of it are corrupt. And it doesn't help when you have a, a situation like this where, you know, as you described, there's a feud and a dispute between the two highest uh, police officials being the police minister and the national police uh, commissioner. Um, and, and all of this just leads to disarray and this view that uh, the institution is, is both dysfunctional but also corrupt. Now, Stierman says Police Minister Begitkele and top cop Ketlasa Tole need to be more accountable for spending by the police. I think that when we look at, at the police budget, what we really need to start demanding from both the police minister and the national police commissioner is radical accountability. I think that, uh, you know, police budgets are passed in parliament every year and there are annual reports that are tabled in parliament, but we don't actually dig into what that means and whether that means that the, the um, uh, parliamentary uh, committee on police needs to do a much better and more robust job of making the police account for uh, where all of this money is going. We certainly have a misalignment of uh, priorities and of outputs, um, given also the fact that uh, the department of, uh, or the unit, sorry, uh, for crime intelligence within the SAPS has a budget of 4 billion rand a year. And they very, very clearly failed at their mandate uh, during the July unrest this year. All right, let's uh, check in with the.